ready for a countdown. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're ready to start now. Uh, oh, you mean the timer? Yep, yeah. Uh, let me set it up real quick. Uh, prepare a little bit. Okay, yeah, I'm ready. Alright, just give me a countdown and I'll be ready to go. Okay. All right, let's start this in three, two, one, and go. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, this is Castlevania or of Ecclesia, Albus mode. Um, so I'm not playing the main character for this game, but instead I'm playing a second character. That is also really interesting for this in this game. As you can see right now, I have a teleport ability, and that makes this run super fast. Um, so yeah, my goal in this game is to beat Dracula, obviously, because that is like pretty much the plot for every Castlevania game. Um, so special thing about this character, so he has a lot of uh, abilities. Um, usually uh, you will see the attacks much uh, only during the boss fight, except for like a couple of rooms. But other than that... Uh, most of the, the game is just movement dependent, like it depends on how good you uh, good you are, but I'm currently just doing not that well, but whatever. <laughs> Happens. Okay, so that is the first boss. Uh, most of the people call it the armadillo bug, uh, because yeah, it's a bug and it spins around, but yeah. Um, so as you can see, I have done, I've used a couple of skills uh, right there. So the you have a normal attack, which is uh, pretty much like a machine gun, pretty much. Even though it's just it's supposed to be a gun. Uh, the other one is um, uh, the optical shot. That's like the skill where you shoot two different energy balls. Uh, okay. And another skill is optical shot. You haven't seen it in this fight. Also, yeah, my movement is kind of bad right now. But yeah, that's usually when I'm super nervous. Um, so yeah, uh, so yeah, there's another shot called the max shot. Uh, what the max shot does is like it creates a huge ball of darkness. Um, you don't use it as much as uh, as you really want to. Um, the reason for that is yeah, every movement that you do, except for backdashing and walking normally. Wastes MP, and as you can see, the MP refills really fast, and that's kind of the gimmick of this game in general. Um, not for this character alone. So yeah, um, so this is the Kalidus channel. Uh, nothing much going on right there, you just skip everything. Also, what's up Toadie and Sauce? <laughs> um, so yeah, here's the next boss. Um, it's called a giant skeleton. Really easy, right? Uh, this, boss, this boss fight shouldn't take that much long. I think only 5 seconds if I'm good. Yeah, okay. I messed it up slightly. Yeah. I missed the optical shot right there, but yeah, whatever. Oh yeah, another skill that I have is a blaze kick, and that is one of the few skills that costs uh, hearts, as you can see on the um, top left side. And it costs like three hearts. It costs it costs three hearts, so it's not that much. And the blaze kick is pretty much like the most overpowered attack in the entire game, even if you uh, account for your uh, hello. Wow, my backdash cancelling is super bad, but yeah, I guess that comes with, with when you haven't done this run in the marathon at all. So yeah, um, so the important thing about uh, Blaze Kick is uh, you are invincible due, uh, as soon as you press the button and Wow. Uh, okay. 
So like as soon as you press the as soon as you press the button you're invincible until you land. And it is used quite often in most of the boss fights because yeah, it deals like much more damage than all the other attacks. Uh, it also, but it's also kind of risky because you you are basically always risking your own life while doing that. But sadly, I'm like half decent at this game, so yeah. It shouldn't be that problematic. So yeah, this is an auto scroll of us called the Brachiura. Um, there's not much I can do here. Um, so to defeat this boss, you have to deal a certain amount of damage. So he tries to destroy the ceiling and turn red. Why he turns red, I don't know. Uh, probably he, probably he's kind of mad. So yeah. So again, I'm using a combination of optical and max shots simply because they deal more damage as the normal attacks i mean the normal attacks have like a super fast fire rate as you can see here but uh it only comes handy in one particular boss but yeah other than that there's not much to say for this boss I think that the amount of damage you need to deal to him is probably around 400. Like, I definitely exceeded over the 400 that I need, so... Yeah, he always turns red. If he does a normal attack, so if he, like, if he doesn't turn red, you he does like a slam to the side and that costs around 10 seconds. But yeah, some bloody animation here and there, but yeah. Okay, uh, just for safety, I am going to heal here because the next couple of areas can be quite problematic. Not this one though, but yeah. Um, so yeah, this is Catalyst Channel 2. Um, you're really slow on the water, so you want to teleport as much as possible. Also, of course, you want to do a high jump, if possible. But yeah, um, so the reason why I run this category is because, yeah, um, there's like, the main game is played with Shanoa, and Shanoa has the bad habit of uh, backdash cancelling all the way until, like, you're... I think like for 30 minutes or something and this kind of hurts uh, on your hands because you have to do the same movement for like 30 minutes okay so this area um, there were, this area was is kind of easy um, but the problem is like if you have not enough HP and especially if you're going for all record attempts, then yeah, this area can be quite troublesome um, because those spiders can poison you, and for some reason you cannot uh, dash through those spiders. Sometimes I have no idea what causes it, but yeah. So so right now I have uh, I can use uh, up to four dashes with my MP before I have to refill my MP. Um, it will stay at that amount of time for un up until I, uh, up until they defeated the uh, Goliath, yeah, which will be a little bit later on in the run. But yeah, okay, so that area war uh, went really well. Can't complain about it. So yeah, skeleton cave. Uh, since it's already, I think it's already midnight in in Europe. Yeah. This is like the spooky cave. You, yeah, you can kind of call it the spooky cave. Like, of course, the gimmick uh, for this area is skeletons. In any shape of variation, of course. Okay. So, this boss. Uh, this boss is called Man Eater or Cannibale in German. 
Uh, you may have noticed that I'm playing the... Uh, playing it on German. Uh, it doesn't matter for this category. Like, time-wise, if you play it in Japanese or... Or... I don't know, like... English or Spanish. Like, you can choose any language you want. But yeah, uh, some news reef. So another water area because everyone likes water areas. And this, the next boss, uh, I think I don't have to describe the strategy behind it. I mean, if you have played Doom uh, and you know like the basic strategy behind the um, Cyber Demon, yeah, the same applies for this boss. You pretty much shoot at it until it dies. And you use a normal attack. That is pretty much like the only boss where you use normal attacks. As much as possible. So yeah, she has three annoying attacks. She has this hair whip. That you can usually just backdash and uh, just avoid it. Because backdashing gives you small, some eye frames. But the timing can be quite difficult. Like, if you do it a little bit too early, then you will get hit. Also, yeah, she can do this attack. Uh, this attack is just, just, just one-shots you. You can avoid it with the blaze kick, but you don't want to do that at all. Oh yeah, of course. We have some, some giant starfish and other kinds of stuff that can poison you. Oh yeah. Whew, okay. I almost got hit by the ghost. In that case, I would have died. I totally forget. When I do runs of this game, I don't save at all because it wastes like two or three seconds. But I think for the marathon, I kind of have to do that. Oh yeah, sometimes when you dash through those uh, banshees, I think. Uh, yeah, you will get cursed, and you don't want to get cursed at all in this, uh, in this game. It doesn't matter what, if you play Shenoa or Alb Albus. Because, uh, what curse does it, de uh, it depletes your MP until you don't have anything left. And that is really bad if that happens, especially with Albus, because, like, the movement is super slow then. Oh yeah, Goliath. Um... Yeah, you use a combination of optical and uh, normal shots. Normal shots because it deals like quite a lot of damage. But you use it in combination with um, optical shots just to consume consume all your MP and like optimize the damage output that you can do. Okay, that was a decent fight. Okay, I ain't got a gut hit there, but. I mean, it's just... Yeah, just... A little bit of health loss. Okay, now I have five dashes. Uh, but I can only use the fifth dash if I have full MP. So sometimes I will just wait until like, I have full MP before I dash. Before that you could just use it, uh, like use it before. Without, and you have, then you would have like a plenty left. Uh, another spike room, because... The areas in this game are kind of copy-paste most of the time. And this is one of the harder rooms in the game, and I don't want to risk getting cursed, because getting cursed right there loses around 10 seconds. Okay, so yeah, I used 4 dashes here, but... Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I use 4, sometimes I use 5. Depending on how I feel. Okay, uh, Oblivion Ridge. So, this is uh, another area where you have to defeat the boss, like most of the areas pretty much. And I'm going to take a safety save here, because this boss can be random at times. So, the boss I'm fighting here is a land shark called Grave Dorcas. Um, yeah, it's, he's a dork, so... Um, 
So you can manipulate this fight quite easily if you stand near the platform and you use a combination of optical and max shots and blaze kicks to get some uh, invincibility frames because yeah the fin of the grave darkness can hurt you also it kind of looks like i deal a lot of damage to him but uh, the thing what he does here is he shoots uh, out those purple balls. Uh, okay, that was a good fight. And yeah, those balls deal quite a lot of damage, so you ro really want to avoid just getting hit by them. Sometimes you will just get hit by it, even if you're... If you're... Uh, If you're unlucky with the with the placement of the balls, because yeah, like the way he spits the balls is like is, yeah, is random. But yeah, like it looked super easy, but in reality, it actually is. I'm just like somewhat decent enough to to do this without any problems, and I got really good RNG. There is another like attack that's like he can do two more attacks. Uh, either you can destroy the platform, and that is a bad thing because yeah, you cannot deal as much damage as possible with the combination. And another dive, uh, like another diving attack. Okay, this boss fight, you're fighting Albus as Albus, and. You pretty much mirror the movement of the other Albus. Yeah, that's like the base to basic strategy behind it. That's like the first threat that I actually discovered routing this game. So like you can just use blaze kicks in the corner. You can tech you can actually call it like some kind of manipulation. There are a couple of other things where, uh, where you what you can manipulate throughout the run, but yeah, like usually the bosses are so. Uh, oh wait, that's the wrong area. Yeah, like the bosses die so quickly that it's like it takes longer to explain the manipulation than yeah than the actual boss fight. Okay, here Barlow. This is pretty much like the first. I would you can say like the first main character that you see if you're playing Shenoa mode. Uh, first he is a good guy, but in reality he just wanted to revive Dracula. Um, so as you can see, he has like multiple attacks, and this the one that he did right now is the best one. Because yeah, you get a lot of free attacks in. Also, you got a really good blaze kick in. Uh, he has another attack, which he luckily didn't do, but he only does it if, you, uh, if he has like a certain amount of HP. Uh, like he tries to punch you in the face five times. Uh, if he does that attack, you will lose 10 seconds. And you cannot manipulate it in any way. Like I got super lucky that I got a Glacius and no, uh, no punches. Oh yeah, this is the best music in the game, uh, but you won't hear it that much. Anyways, uh, hello. Okay, I will get the HP upgrade, usually I skip it if I have enough health, but again, it's a marathon run, so you kinda have to play it a little bit safe. Because the next boss, oh boy, I don't really want to talk about uh, Blackmore. Uh, so yeah, I can talk about the movement right there, but yeah, Blackmore. So you're fighting a shadow dog that you cannot uh, manipulate at all. And sometimes you just have to be lucky with the attack pattern he does. And there is a high chance that I will actually die. But yeah, I will get safety safe down there. It wastes like uh, 8 or 9 seconds, but then again, it's a marathon run. I don't even expect to get a 
record. Yeah, like the current record for this category is a 28.57 by some guy called Lufrosa. So yeah, what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to do uh, trying to tell him to move back so he does this attack, and I can just use Blaze Kick because Blaze Kick deals a lot of damage. Yeah, okay. As I messed it up a little bit, but yeah. Like, I missed the place kick input, which is just one button, so kinda happens. But yeah, like, this is one of the hardest bosses in the entire game. I feel like even harder than Dracula himself. Okay. Okay, so now he entered the second phase. Now, his second phase is kinda like his first, but he has like extra attacks. But like, second phase is actually easier than the first one. Because, yeah, he usually does the same attacks over and over again. Okay. Now, uh, I have like plenty of HP, so I can do one of the... I call it like the tentacle room. Uh, a little bit more risky. Also, I'm waiting here until I have full MP, because, yeah. There will be a plenty of those uh, blue guys that will want to hug you and destroy you. Okay. Uh, hello. <laughs> wow, I couldn't teleport there. Okay, so, I will save here again, use a blaze kick for, for funsies. And then, this area doesn't have a boss, per se, but, yeah. No, it doesn't have a boss at all. Uh, so it's pretty much like going to the next boss. Like, that is pretty much like the whole description of this run. You just teleport from one place to another. Oh yeah, there is a teleport that I'm going to take for later on. Because in the... well... Because in the next room, not in this one, like in the next area, you can split between two. You can't hit me. Uh, between like you have, you have to decide between two bo two bosses. You can either choose Death or Aligor. I'm going to do Death first. If you would do runs of, I uh, don't know what you would do. No, you would also do Death first. Wait. I am actually doing the wrong route. Ah, whatever. Let's just say this is the route you do with Shanoa. Um, but then again, it doesn't really matter now that I think about it. Oh yeah, I should probably save here. Yeah, like time-wise, it's maybe like 15 seconds slower, but uh, whatever. Okay, death. Death is random. Um, you can see those sickles. Um, they spawn randomly. I think like they spawn in like two second intervals, so you can kind of predict when one of them will show up and move accordingly. Um, I use a combination of optical max shots, and if I have the opportunity, I will use blaze kicks. Uh, the best attack he can do is this one, because yeah, he doesn't move at all. For all the for the most of most of the other attacks, he will move. Okay. okay. Um, yeah, there's not much to say here. Like, you kind of have to react to everything he does. Also, those sickles can still kill you. If uh, even if you killed uh, if you killed killed death. But yeah. Okay, now I will use the teleporter right, right back and go to the uh, next area. Wow, that's bad movement right there. Um, so yeah, like this whole section is supposed to be like the, like, uh, the mechanical tower, which it still is, but yeah. It's one of like the larger areas in the game. 
Oh yeah, something with... There's a thing with spikes and teleporting through them. Um, also, wow. Okay, I have to go around. Usually you can teleport down there, but yeah. I guess the camera didn't want to move down. Kind of happens because you need to... Yeah, you like the, you have to. You need to have like a certain amount of space before you can teleport to a place. So yeah, that's the one. That's the one area where I use a blaze kick outside of bosses. Um, no, actually, it's only this room, but oh, like room with the one eye. So just so that I can uh, go safely across them. Um, Usually I don't teleport through this area, simply because those swords right there have like incredibly stupid hitboxes. Okay. So, Eligor. So, his weak point is the eye. You can destroy all the other parts, and you're supposed to destroy the knees first. But we're going to skip this. So now you can just attack the eye. And now I can manipulate him to move back. As it is as it does right now. And if I'm standing right there, he does an attack from a different uh, phase. I guess like the boss fight is coded that way that like depending on where you stand he will do different kinds of attacks. Yeah, for for Albus mode, this uh, this uh, kind uh, this trick is kind of useful because it this makes this fight much easier. In Shen like if you play as Shinoa, like this fight is over in like ten seconds. Okay, and yeah, that was good. Okay, another save. You can skip the save if you didn't take damage. But yeah, now we just have to defeat Dracula. Yeah, like it's a surprisingly short run. Uh, yeah, so we go back, like we backtrack to a certain point of the mechanical tower and then we go to the last area. Uh, the last area with Albus is much easier than with Genoa. Because like the problem with Genoa is like you cannot, you don't have any iframes and except if you use a glyph combo which only exists for Genoa because yeah uh, I just cannot uh, use any glyphs okay another safety save here yeah like I'm I, I currently have like 290 health and you're supposed to go to that area if you uh, with like 400, 500 health. Also, you're supposed to kill a lot of stuff. Okay, now I wait here until I have enough MP. So I can do two quick ones. Okay. And yeah, that's pretty much it now. I just have to get the heart, heart refresher. Uh, not heart refresher, but like a heart upgrade. And then just defeat Dracula once for and for all. And during practice, uh, yeah, it didn't work that well. Let's just keep it at that way. But yeah, like the fight is pretty, s like it's pretty boring with Elvis. But then again, like with Shinoa, it's like ten seconds again, because yeah, with Shinoa you can get uh, OP equips that like pretty much the. Makes your damage go through the roof. But with Albus you just have to fight Dracula. So in the first phase he uses he shoots his fireballs, like in most of the Castlevania games. And then Dark Inferno. Again. Kinda of the same thing in most of the Metroidvania games, I could say. And then uh, Fatal Ray, like the Green Laser. Um, yeah, all of the attacks are super easy to avoid, unless, 
uh, Dracula spawns in one of those, one of the two sides. Like, if he spawns all the way to the left and all the way to the right, I cannot deal as much damage as I could, because I cannot use blaze kicks. Also, I cannot jump over him, or otherwise he will use his cape, and his cape deals like 150 damage. So, like, optimal RNG would be if he spawns either in the middle or, like, between the middle and, and the, uh, one of the sides. And this is his second phase. He gains a couple of more attacks now. And, like, the att kind of attack he does depends on the color he does when he moves around. If it's blue, he does his wolf attack. Um, if it's red, he does his bat attack. Um, and if it's purple, he uses Soul Steel. Uh, you don't see any of the attacks right now because I can, I can manipulate him to use his cape, and then he skips the attack he was supposed to do by using a diagonal dash. Sometimes you will get hit by it. There's not much you can do here. Um, time is coming up shortly. Okay. Yeah. So, I think like two more cycles. Oh, wait, time! Well, okay. That was faster than I thought. Um, what was the time, by the way? I feel like that was like a 31 something. 3050, okay. Yeah, it was, it was, it was decent, I think. Like my, it's like, Two minutes behind my PB, but like considering that I died once and took all the saves, yeah, it was a decent run. All right, well, thanks for running that. Do you have any, anything you want to say? Um, there's actually nothing much that I can say about this. Um, so, um, I know like a couple of people started the running this game, um, like K and C, and some other guy that I actually forgot the name but, but like a couple of people are interested right now and yeah after like three years of not being in any marathon whatsoever kind of feels refreshing to have this game uh, because it's one of my favorite castlevania games of all time um yeah i hope more people pick up uh, the, this game it's really interesting and like the movement is is kind of cool especially like with genoa right now with the uh, with a special glyph that you can get like the movement is super cool but it's also kind of difficult so yeah that's it for me for now so thanks everyone and see you guys thank you for coming again and up next we got a super monkey ball too so look forward to that